Hello and welcome. XPages is a new technology available in Domino 8.5 that allows you to give compelling front ends to existing and new Domino applications. We're going to take you on a tour of the Lead Manager sample application here and show you just some of those nifty front end elements. First stop on our tour is the Sales Leads page. As you can see, this allows us to view the sales leads that we have recorded in our company. Much like a notes view, we get the main area in the center, and we have a navigator to the left where we can choose a variety of methods to categorize our sales leads by. Uh, we can choose to collapse the various categories that we see in order to see more, and we can choose to page through the leads themselves. These features are provided out of the box just by using an X page control to view our normal view. However, as you can see, if one wants to browse through the majority of the leads in your database or to quickly find something, it is a little hard to page through every single lead that you have. We have implemented a method here to allow you to filter the leads that are displayed. As you can see on the left, we have a number of twisties, which gives us the choice of various categories to limit the view by. For example, we can select New under Status, and it will now only display leads that have a status of New. We can select company, and we get only the leads displayed with both that status and with that company. This allows us to quickly drill down to the area of interest that we are in. If we wish to choose something different, we can choose that a different value from the twisty. Or if we wish no choice at all, using the filter bar at the top, we can indicate that we no longer want to filter by that category, and the original view of all the documents is restored. You may note that the various filter twisties have a common look and feel. These are actually implemented with the same custom control that was created. This control was deployed twice, or in fact four times, to the X page and populated with different initial parameters to allow us to filter by four separate categories. It is through this method of component reuse that we are able to rapidly develop X page applications of great complexity. Additionally, you can see on the right hand column a recent updates list. This is another way of allowing us to quickly select leads that we might have a certain interest. Choosing a lead at this point will bring us to a page that lists details on that lead. We can see here all of the information that was originally provided through a notes form has now been serviced in a compelling way through the web with the look and feel for the entire application that we have created. Additionally, there is a related information section where here we have brought into this context a number of other things from other databases related to the sales leads database. On the first tab here, we have a company information, where we have given a rich rendering of information relating to the company to which the lead pertains. On the contracts tab, we give a list of the current state of the contract processing for this particular lead. This is included in another database based on the document library data. In the Discussions tab, we again have a similar view highlighting the discussions relating to this particular sales lead, again brought in from another database, based on the Discussions database. Lastly, on the Contacts tab, we bring up the contact for this sales lead person from our name and address book. You may note that on this page, it has rather a different look and feel. It was chosen for this page rather than give a completely new X page front end, we would reuse the existing application. This allows us to scope our work as appropriate to give the additional benefits of X pages where those are best given and to retain the existing work that we have done where it is better to leave it fall. Moving on, we can proceed to the company lists tab. Through this, we can access a list of the companies in our sales lead database. We can view them by different criteria, much like a navigator will call up different notes views you've seen before. And we can sort based on the column order. You may note the view selector looks very similar to the one we saw on the sales leads page. This is another common control that we created and reused in multiple places. The final page in our application is a list of contacts. 
and this pulls its data from the names and address book that has been used to collect the information on the contacts for the sales leads that we have. So you can see here it is very similar to the other two pages and we have reused many controls as well as the standard controls provided with X pages. Instead of doing a deep integration on this though, as before, when we select a record, we actually get the existing non-X pages UI that has already that is already there for this record. It saves time in implementation and for lesser use areas of the product is a good solution to bring the application to the web expediently. You are more than welcome to download and try this application out for yourself, explore all of the details, and more importantly, look at the source code and evaluate how it was implemented, what lessons you can learn from that, and what areas you can use in your own expertise development. Thank you.